Hi, I'm Red. Welcome to the scrapyard. Uh, just a little uh, weekend update. Um, I've uh, set the uh, T Model T altar to the side for a while. It percolate for a little bit. I'll get back on in it when I get inspired. Um, get a few stash ads. Uh, bunch of junk, really. So I got this thing. Um, it came with some, some, other, some other stuff for even about it and your drift sheet. I didn't know it was in funky blue plastic, but uh, I got some ideas for it. I might do something with it. Do a custom eventually. <laughs> got that. Got this. Um, it's a glue bomb built up. Partially complete. Just got my point camera work. There. Okay. This is a blue, blue bomb, partially complete. Um, I got it because uh, I have a hard top that needs some parts. So there's that. I got this thing. This is to go with my uh, this one sixteenth scale. It's the same one sixteenth scale everybody's uh, put out. Only time I've ever seen a pack of cigarettes on a <laughs> on a uh, model box. And to top it all off, it's in them Kents, man. Those are the ones that had the asbestos filters. So uh, <laughs> anyway, I got that. That's going to want to fix that. And about this thing. I don't know why, I just get, get, guess I felt fancy. <laughs> this thing is a curbside, of course. It's also got one of the thickest bodies I ever saw. <laughs> I mean, it's like it could be a resin casting, it's so thick. But, uh, I don't know if you ever saw that. Old movie with Ron Howard, Grand Theft Auto. But that's the car. All right. These next few things got the parts. I didn't get this for parts, but it's got some really nifty parts in it. This thing here, I'm going to do with them. Already got them out. I'm going to use them. This thing here has the nicest set of big little white walls you ever saw. Check this out. Yeah, they Firestone branded. You can't really see it on my crappy camera. But uh, black letter Firestones on the slicks. They're cheater slicks. All right. You got to set four of these white walls. They look like it'd be good, good front runners for a street roadster I'm making. Uh, not only that, this thing's got a Cadillac engine in it. I'm not too enthused about the engine because of the way the heads are made with the uh, exhaust manifolds molded into them. But <laughs> it's got that. One of those parts I've been looking for. That's a five belt blower drive. So that's really cool, I thought. And, uh, and also, I got a 49 Ford I can build. <laughs> I, uh, I found these on sale. I got three of them. And I'll explain why in a second. I got three of these. Uh, these are parts packs. We'll open one up. I figure everybody's already got one of these that wants one. But, uh, but yeah, there's the uh, parts pack, a uh, parts pack race master chassis, a drag master chassis. Okay. Really nice set of packer slicks, nice soft. 
Those skinny front runners. Alright. These are both parts packs. Uh, looking for something there. That's the competition key chassis. Right? And then that's the uh, dragster accessories. And it's got all kinds of springs and now I'm, uh, 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 what you call radius arms, um, radius rods, uh, a couple of wheel backs, just all kinds of neat, nifty stuff. I mean, all you front end stuff, man, it's got the uh, pitman arm and the um, drag link, uh, some shocks, uh, just all kinds of neat stuff, man, little boom tanks, um, yeah, extra little suspension bits, there's that, and then you get, that's part of this, the comp competition wheels pack. Let's see, you got Halibrands, um, Halibrand front runners, uh, motorcycle wheels, and uh, I'm not sure if there's a Halibrands or um, Torque Thrust on the back. I don't know what are. Plus, you get knockoffs for the, the, the Halibrands or, or a knockoff wheel. Um, and um, set uh, two sets of um, disc button brakes, and you get the two uh, was it 283, 273, 263 Chevy engine with the uh, front mounted popkin blower. But uh, for 15 bucks, man, I bought three of them. I mean, the next month, they still got some more. I'm going to buy three more, man, you know, because that's well worth that, man. That's down, you know, a huge assortment of parts for that price. I mean, and, and one thing I noticed when you do a 3D printer, man, it seems to have a problem with the, or at least I seem to have a problem with printing out long, thin parts. <laughs> they want to walk on me. Um, but anyway, that's that. I mean, uh, yeah, the uh, Dragmaster chassis. I got one built here somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and that was pretty common chassis to see, man. All kinds of drag racing back in the late 50s, early 60s. I got that and um, but yeah I'm glad to get these man these are well worth it. 15 bucks man hell <laughs> but um, and I'm starting on by the um, tea offers resting I'm starting to started a street roadster tea uh, I thought I had one of these in white plastic man but I ended up having to use a black plastic one because I couldn't find the one I thought I had but um, anyway, I'm using them parts pack pieces to build a suspension and everything. Uh, this is the uh, AMT roaster body and turtle deck out of the um, chop T kit. Um, I'm working on the back of it, making a roll pan for it. Because I always like that look. But um, this would be a street roaster. Now, a street roaster is different than al altered me because a street roaster. It's supposed to be street legal, so that means four fenders, four fenders, lights, and has to start under its own power. So I think this would be a good one. I'm not quite sure what engine I'm going to put in to get. I don't know if I want to go flathead or uh, like an early Cadillac or Oldsmobile V8. Um, but, but yeah, that. That tire set's gonna look great on there, man. We use uh, either Steelys or artillery wheels. I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, 
like just use plain steelers. But um, and I'm, I'm building this to the to the, the 59 Street Roadster rules because in '60 they had a big a lot of changes in it, and they uh, uh, in 1960 uh, started requiring a roll roll ball on the on the street roadsters, uh, and um, split uh, split flatheads and the uh, six hundreds off in a different class by themselves. Used to you just had an A and a B class, being in 1960 you had a C class, uh, and going on from there, I think by the time the uh, 64 season rolled around, I think it was all the way up to a D class on that. But uh, I'm gonna try to make a class A street roadster for the PK to pitch nine season. Uh, Oh yeah, and uh, we used a bis biscuit tufted interior in it. I'm thinking white with red, in I mean red with a white interior. But uh, yeah, that'll be all right. Um, anyway, that's about all I got right now. Um, just figure I need to get something out there for the night. And, uh, as always, like, subscribe, tell a friend, share it. And but, uh, but yeah, I'm just I'm still getting the uh, parts together for this bill. There's the Steelys I'm looking at. They come out of that gas man kit as well. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to use the, uh, four motorcycle fenders, and, uh, I think it'll give, give it a pretty good look, but anyway, that's, that's about it for now, uh, like, like I said, like, subscribe, share, um, uh, hope everybody has a good weekend. I'm going to do my best to, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.